part 2 starts from here. The next question. Calculate the effective resistance between the points A and B in the network shown. You can see here this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. So let us consider that the current I is entering the circuit through this point A. We will take into consideration the Kirchhoff law that is the junction rule of the current rule which states that the, that is the sum of current entering the junction is equal to the sum of current leaving the junction. So here let the current I uh, reaches the point I so it will get divided into I1 and I2 because this is the junction and the current will divide here. Now again it reaches at this point and this I1 will get divided into two current that is into I11 and I12. So this I12 current will flow through this 5 ohm resistor. It will uh, reach here and it will reach this point. So at this point we have the current I12. Now this current I11 will flow through 10 ohm resistor. It will reach here and from here it will move here and it will move through 10 ohm resistor and the same current I11 will reach at this point. So at this point also we have the current I11. So I11 plus I12 is equals to I1. So you can see here that if the current I1 is entering from point A it is uh, leaving the circuit from this point and it is reaching this point B. Now what about the current I2? Here again the current I2 will get divided so it will get divided into I21 and I22. This I22 will flow through 5 ohm resistor. It will reach here and it will reach this point. So at this point we have current I22. Whereas this current I21 will flow through 10 ohm resistor. It will reach here. It will move here and it will flow through 10 ohm resistor and it will reach here. So at this point also we have I21 and I22 and I21 equals to I2. So the current I2 is entering the circuit to, from this area and it is leaving through this area and it will reach this point B. And at point B we have I1 and I2 and as I is equal to I1 plus I2 so that means the current I is leaving the circuit so that means the segregation of the current that we have done is appropriate. This justifies the junction rules. Now what we need to do is that we have to follow the series and the parallel combination basis that when the same currents flow through the resistors those resistors are in series combination and we will just add them while uh, if their current device then those resistors are in parallel combination with each other and we will take their uh, sum of the reciprocals. So following that we will calculate the effective resistance across the points A and B. So first of all we will consider the series combination. You can see here that the current I11 is flowing through this 10 ohm resistor and the same current I1 is flowing through this 10 ohm resistor. So we will take the series combination of uh, these two. So let it be RS1. Here I will take this uh, point as 1 and I will take this as 2. So this will be equal to resistance across 1 plus resistance across 2. Similarly uh, we can find out equivalent resistance across this series combination. I will write it as 3 and I will write it as 4. So here uh, let it be RS2 will be equal to resistance across uh, 3 plus resistance across 4. So this will come out to be 10 plus 10 equals to 20 ohm. Now we have calculated the equivalent resistance in series across these two points and these two points. Now how the circuit will look? Let's see. So the circuit will look like this. This is the equivalent resistance RS1 that we have calculated and this is the equivalent resistance across the series combination that we have calculated RS2. Now you can see here that these four are in parallel combination with each other because all of them have the different current passing through it. So all these will be in parallel combination. So in order to find the uh, resistance across the points A, B, we have to take the parallel combination of these four. That is 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 5. 
So this will come out to be 10 upon 20. On taking the reciprocal, we will get as 20 upon 10. And this will come out to be 2 ohm. So the equivalent resistance or the total resistance across the point AB is equal to 2 ohm. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.